Since late July, the spread of COVID-19 has steadily and significantly declined. The number of new cases and new hospitalizations have been cut by more than two thirds. Just yesterday, we had the lowest number of hospitalizations in the past three months. And importantly, the number of people recovering from COVID continues to skyrocket. Doctors have explained that the biggest reason for these improvements is because Texans are taking COVID seriously. Now, while we go about protecting Texans from COVID, we, we must also be mindful of those who are suffering from the pandemic in other ways. People who are enduring family hardships and unprecedented financial challenges. But now with the medical advancements that we have made and the personal hygiene practices that we have adopted, Texans have shown that we can address both the health and safety concerns of COVID while also taking carefully measured steps to restore the livelihoods that Texans desperately need. There are some Texans who want to fully open Texas 100% as if COVID no longer is a threat. The fact is COVID does still exist and most Texans remain susceptible. If we fully reopen Texas without limits, without safe practices, it could lead to an unsustainable increase in COVID that would require the possibility of being forced to ratchet back down. The better approach is to safely take strategic steps that help Texans return to jobs while also protecting them from COVID. And that is what we are announcing today. For the 19 hospital regions where COVID hospitalizations are less than 15% of all hospitalizations, the following business categories that currently have a 50% capacity can increase to a 75% capacity. That includes all retail stores, all restaurants, all office buildings, all manufacturing, all museums and libraries, and all gyms. Those openings can begin as early as Monday, September the 21st. Also, effective immediately, hospitals in those regions can return to ordinary elective surgical procedures. And additionally, all nursing home facilities, assisted living centers, state supported living centers, and other long-term care facilities are allowed to reopen for visitation. They must, however, comply with certain health protocols and there must be no COVID outbreak at those facilities. All of those facilities are now allowed to offer essential caregiver visits. To give these facilities the time they need to prepare for the additional visitations to begin, uh, they will be allowed to open up next week, September the 24th. Because bars are nationally recognized as COVID spreading locations, they are still not able to open at this time. However, it is important for them to know that we are focused on finding ways to get them open. We need to see COVID numbers continue to be contained and we need to work with the bars on effective strategies that will ensure that when they do open, the possibility of spread of COVID is contained. Some bars and their associations have offered some very helpful ideas and we will continue to work with them on that process. Let me end with this. Without vaccines available containing COVID is a challenge, but Texans have already shown that they are up to that challenge. The reality is that COVID hasn't suddenly disappeared in Texas. It's still here and it's still a threat, but we are now armed with the personal safety standards and some medical advancements that can ensure that we can continue to tame COVID until more treatments and vaccines become available. So as we go about the process of continuing to contain COVID, we will also continue to work to open up Texas.